Okay, so this is what I'm going to be using. By the way, this is blue. Um, this is easygift.com, easygift.com, slash video dash to dash gif, video to gif converter. And this thing is an absolute snap to use, by the way. I've got nothing to do with this website, incidentally, so. Anyway, I'm going to browse and grab my footage, okay, because this is my raw zombie footage that I created using Bandicam. So just grab that and open it. Okay, and then I'm going to click upload. And this doesn't take very long because I'm on a fairly decent connection. And then it'll do a little bit of processing. And there it is. Incidentally, I did pause a little bit. Okay. Okay, so now what I can do is I want to change my start time and my end time. Okay, it's important so I get a loop. And 10 seconds is about right. Then I'm going to hit convert to GIF. I don't want to change anything else. I'm going to keep the size original up to 960 px. Now I'm going to create, be creating this as a low res, um, what do you call it? I'm going to create this as a low res um, GIF for my Android phone. So it's going to be a low res Android, so it'll work with earlier ones as well. Okay, so here's my output GIF. Um, I'm going to have to crop this, which isn't particularly difficult. The tools, again, are built into the easygif.com website. So thank you for that, guys. As we can see, the loop's looking fine, literally. That was really fortunate. So if I go to crop, um, we'll get a little special window here, obviously start to appear. And I'm going to move it in just to get the original letterbox size. Ignore the fact that it's kind of slowing down on the site. Of course it's going to slow down on the site. It's a website. I don't even know how we manage this witchcraft. So I'm going to move it to round about the right height for what it is that I need. And then I can just use the type ins now that I've kind of got the borders and things right. Which I think is round about a height of 480 or something like that. What is the right size for this? I've got it in another window, so I'm sure I'll remember it in a minute. Pardon me. Yep, 480. Okay, so that looks cool. Uh, what I can do then is kind of move it along so it's in the middle, and then I'm going to change my width as well. So, I think my width should be round about 320. There we are. Excellent. Okay, so just position that. I know the arms are going off the top there. It's a shame, but like I say, I'm using the resolution for kind of an earlier generation Android here. That way it'll work on just about everything. Okay, so with that done, <coughs> pardon me, I'll click crop it and I get that. Isn't it beautiful? There's nothing really that I need to do with that now that it's being cropped. So I can just click save. And as you see, just over there on the left, it has saved my cropped GIF. Now if I click on that, just to kind of make sure that it works, because it should. Let's open up the folder. There we go. And the browser should load up our easy GIF crop. I think I'll rename it first, actually. So, Awesome Zombie. There we go. Just so we know what it is. Awesome Zombie Animation. Okay, and if I just run that now... Would I like to make Internet Explorer my default browser? No, 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 no. No, I would not. Would I like to use the add-ons? No, 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 no. No, I really wouldn't. Okay, so our animated zombie is looking pretty damn tip-top. I'm very, very happy with that. Okay, so you're going to need to install that Android app that I talked about at the beginning. Um, if you can't remember what it is, go back to the first video or I'll be showing you in just a few minutes. And let's make your wallpaper on your telephone look pretty darn good.